All right, welcome back. Uh, I've spent so much time talking about the rear suspension that I've never really done a dedicated front suspension video. Um, so I thought I might as well go ahead and do one solely dedicated to the front end um, in what I've done so far. Um, so let's get started. Uh, I still have the front on. Um, nothing has changed up in the top. Um, these Monroe air shocks are stemmed at the top and the bottom and they just uh, bolt into the stock um, shock position. Um, second thing was the Leafs here. Um, they are, they come stock as a, with, a, with an added helper spring. So what you do is you take the, take the helper spring off so you're only left with the one, the one piece and then you turn it around 180 degrees. So uh, this part right here used to be bolted back there and what was back and what is bolted right there uh, used to be bolted up here um, they're not flipped upside down or anything like that they're just literally rotated 180 degrees and that's for the left and the right um, the steering here as you can see we're pretty much aired up this is fully extended um, i know some people on um, the the buggies forum have cut that down uh, in order to achieve a better drop. Um, I think what they had to do, like why they had to do that, uh, there's a couple of reasons. One, if you look here, I have the lowered front axle. So you can see my spindles are actually mounted further up. Whereas if you see the stock spindle right, or the stock axle right here, the spindles are mounted straight in line. Whereas mine here, they're mounted up. So. I get a lot of extra upward travel, if you will. Um, obviously the cart doesn't sit as high because this is a part of the, the um, discontinued lowering kit. I probably called, emailed a dozen different uh, golf cart um, sales places. This kit I ended up buying used from a place in the Midwest. Um, I'm guessing they took it off to lift a cart probably. So, uh, but, um, there is somebody on the uh, Golf Carts Modified Facebook page that has started rebuilding these and making these from scratch. So if you make a post there, somebody will probably chime in as to who that is. Um, also, uh, had to modify the shock mounts here. Obviously, they used to be turned in and sit further up because the stock shocks are much shorter. So um, these have been grinded off, flipped around, and mounted further down like this. Um, I also had some clearance issues with the stock uh, steering mount. Um, it was hitting this shock here, so I had to build this plate here to push that back a little bit. Um, these are just Jake's disc brakes. Um, they come with the new spindles, the brake, um, rotors, calipers, all that. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, I will try and take a video of it going up and down. It's hard for me to get this into position. To where it's a good, a good shot. Hopefully with the light in the background, there's not too, too much. So that was uh, something interesting I'll bring up. Um, the, uh, the front does not go down as well uh, with the brakes engaged because the wheels can't roll and give it that extra bit, bit of flexibility to drop down um, easily. You saw what I had to do there. I had to disengage the brakes so that it would drop the rest of the way down. Um, so I'll show you again. Um, you can see here too, not a lot of clearance. If I were to just kind of bounce this, the body will actually be hitting the tires. It's just kind of, if I was sitting in the cart, it would it would drop down to where I would be rubbing the tires. I cannot drive um, completely aired down in the front. So um, I know some people had cut this piece up in here to get further lower. Um, those folks were either running eight inch steely wheels, so they wanted to get even lower, um, or I'm guessing they had a stock front axle. Um, but because I've got the aftermarket front axle uh, with the lowering kit, it brings the, like I showed you, 
the tires right up to the body uh, without having to modify um, the steering up in there. So I'll, right now I have the brakes actually off. So I'll be able to go up and down. You can see with the brakes off, it's much more smooth. Um, I guess it's a little bit of a side effect of having to, wanting the extra power of the Navitas kit. Um, I do recommend the disc brakes if you're gonna go with a big lithium and big motor. It's a, or you're in a hilly area, it's a big help. Um, but if you have any other questions regarding the front suspension, uh, send me a comment and I'll get back to you.